Hi guys, this is your girl Dinam aka Sunshine here, back again with another energy clearing. All right guys, this is going to be the last video and this is going to be the Soul Star Chakra. This is actually the eighth chakra and it exists above your head. Yes, it is actually the gateway that connects you to your soul and the color that's associated with this beautiful chakra is gold and white. Now, if you guys want to know a little bit more about this chakra, then I suggest you kind of go over to my blurb. I have a little bit of information there. And um, if not, if you want to know more about the Soul Star Chakra, you could definitely do your own research. So let's dive in, guys. So get settled in a comfy position, whether it's sitting or lying down. I want you to take some deep, slow breaths. Yes. And as you do this, I want you to scan your body from head to toe. Notice any sensations. This could be body sensations. This could be emotions or thoughts that are coming up. I want you to just simply observe them without getting caught up in them. Now with each breath, I want you to set an intention to be open to receiving this clearing for your highest and best. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call upon your spirit team, including your higher self, your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and I'm gonna be inviting them in to the session so that they can assist you. Remember, this session is protected, so we will get started. All right, I'm gonna put the intention here to clear any impediments, discordant energy, distorted energy, blocks, interferences, anything that is hindering the soul star chakra from expanding to its highest potential according to your soul blueprint. All right, take a deep breath. This is gonna be including, but not limited to, any associated imbalances, mind, body, soul, anything in the mother line, father line, ancestor line, DNA, genetic coding, anything hidden, buried, or covered up, on all levels of your being throughout creation and throughout anti-time. Take a deep breath. All right, what's the most impactful thing, spirit, that we can work on for this beautiful collective when it comes to the soul star chakra clearing? All right, we have chart one coming in. the honesty and hidden things chart all right we have trapped emotions anything else here we have substance addictions blocking all right anything else no all right so let's go ahead and clear any trapped emotions that are known or not known to you at this time. You could know what these emotions are. If not, it's all good. We're going to go ahead and clear and then remove. And then reprogram or restore to the most positive expression of that emotion that's being restored. On all levels of your being, throughout creation, throughout anti-time. All right, when it comes to substances or addictions, some of you guys, you're like, I don't have any addictions. But you do it's called social media just kidding um this could be people places and things this could be substances all right so let's clear anything in the sacral chakra because that's usually where the energy kind of sits of addictions and also in the soul star chakra there could be timelines or there could be imprints or inheritances uh, from family members, ancestral line, genetic line that are being passed on to you. You may not have any addictions, but they may be laying dormant within your cellular memory. So let's clear and remove and then restore to your soul's highest vibrational blueprint. Removing that out of your Akashic records both these energies of trapped emotions that we cleared and then any imprints or inheritance or identifications with the substance or addiction programming 
all levels of your being, throughout creation, throughout anti-time. If there is any incarnated souls or discarnate souls that are affecting this energy, let's go ahead and clear, clear, remove, and allow your spirit team to assist these beings back into divine source light's energy. All right, is there anything else here with the soul star chakra that we need to work on, please? No, okay, let's go back to... All right, what's the most impactful thing that we can work on for the Soul Star Chakra clearing here for this collective? All right, we have the Ascension Glossary. I'm gonna grab my computer here. Okay, guys, so I'm in the Ascension Glossary and I have been directed by the beautiful high selves to go into the Thymus Complex. This is the eighth chakra, right? And it aligns with the ninth chakra, the thalamus complex. So this is actually what the beautiful soul star chakra is called. Now this website says it's a tiny blue white light spark, right? But from what I've read, it has a gold and white color to it. So I know a lot of different websites have a lot of different uh, energy but if you can see it also says gold right here so all right let's clear clear remove clear remove and reprogram all right is there anything further we need to research here on this page yes all right please show me We're gonna work on the ninth chakra as well while we're here. So take a deep breath. The ninth chakra is referred to as your God's mouth. It's at the back of your neck where your skull kind of meets in, uh, with your spine. remove and restore that back into its divine harmonic energy according to your soul's blueprint all right is there anything you would like me to further research here yes all right is it the sacred crystal heart yes all right so we're gonna go here to the sacred crystal heart going to read this really quick it said the sacred crystal heart our pure heart which holds the feelings and language that communicates directly with god's source and gives us the gift of experiencing unconditional love and peace so let's go ahead and clear clear remove clear remove and reprogram and restore back to the soul's divine blueprint at this time Anything else you would like me to work on further on this page? No, okay. Let's go back to the page before. All right, anything here with the ninth chakra you would like to further research? No, okay, so go back to the eighth chakra anything further you want me to research here no okay anything else with the ascension glossary that you want me to further research no okay so let's go back to our chart here all right what's the next most impactful thing we can work on to clear anything and everything in the soul star chakra for this collective We have chart three.
Okay, it says, what percentage am I embodying? Um, coming into powerful in my unique soul's purpose. All right, so let's see what percentage you guys are really aligning when it comes to your beautiful energy with your soul. So let's go to the percentage here. So most of you guys are 70% connecting to your higher self. Where do, do you want the collective to be at at this time? All right, so I'm kind of getting between like 89 to about 90%. Is that correct? Can you show me yes or no? No, all right. You want them to be at 90%? Maybe 92%? Yes. All right. Great. So let take a deep breath, guys. So we're going to clear anything and everything, mind, body, soul, all levels of your being that are disconnecting you, not just from your soul star chakra, but are disconnecting you from connecting to your higher self, your beautiful soul at this time. So this could be your mental body. This could be your emotional body, your energetic body astral etheric your etheric template this could be your physical body so anything and everything is included this could be from the mother line father line ancestral line dna genetic coding anything hidden buried covered up and this is going to be all levels of your being throughout creation throughout anti-time we're going to bring that level up so your vibrational rate may have to change. So I'm gonna ask your higher self to adjust that. And your brain waves may have to change as well. So I'm gonna ask your higher self to adjust that as well. Anything in your Akashic records that need to be adjusted, I'm gonna ask your higher self to adjust that now. Anything in your auric field, Program that all your chakras, your meridians, anything in the body system. This is the nervous system. Let's go ahead and adjust so that your new energy, the new template that's coming in, is going to create this uh you know new pathway for you but it's going to be in the most least resistant way so you're not going through a lot of these body ascension pains all right so are we at 92 percent yes all right is there anything else here i need to see with the percentage no all right so let me go back to that chart to make sure there's nothing else here. Is there anything else in the Soul Star Chakra uh, here with the blocks of subconscious energy that you need to focus on? No, all right. And anything else on chart three that we need to look at for the Soul Star Chakra? Yes, all right. Is it here? Showing me the impediments, is that correct? So, okay. All right, so please show me for the Soul Star Chakra what we can work on, the most impactful thing that we can work on. All right, we have spiritual AI implants, hooks, plates, devices, things that have been put maybe into your physical body, your etheric body, your auric body, your celestial body, this could be your mental body, this could be your emotional body, all levels of your being. Let's remove any and all spiritual AI, artificial implants, artificial intelligent implants, hooks, plates, darts, devices, all levels of your being, any 
crucifixion implants. Any vows, agreements, promises, soul contracts that you made, or this could be that you didn't make. This could have been without your permission. Let's go ahead and clear and then remove and then restore that area back to its harmonic residence according to your soul's blueprint. So this is any associated imbalances. Now this could be inherited. So let's go ahead and clear any energy through your ancestors, the bloodline. Anything else here we can work on for the Soul Star Chakra clearing? All right, we do have ancestral afflictions or distressed ancestors. So there we go. Let's clear any and all ancestral affliction that is coming towards you in this lifetime, affecting you and your connection to your beautiful soul. Let's go ahead and clear, clear, remove, clear, remove, and then reprogram to your soul's highest vibrational blueprint. Alright, anything else here on this page for the Soul Star Chakra clearing? No. Alright, let's go to page two for the impediments. Alright, we have manipulation controlling energies around you. So this could be people, places, things, situations that are trying to, in some way, um, manipulate, control, create resistance, create blockages, hindrances. So let's go ahead and clear, clear, remove, and reprogram, restore back to your soul's divine blueprints or your soul's current updated blueprints on all levels of your being throughout creation throughout and time right, thank you is there anything else here for the soul star chakra that we can work on no nope. all right anything here with page three yes all right please show me all right we have an auric field clearing anything else we have physical body clearing anything else all right let's go ahead and clear Clear, remove, clear, remove, and reprogram the auric field and the physical body. Anything blocking the auric field or the physical body and the soul star chakra. Let's go ahead and clear, clear, remove. All levels of your being throughout creation, throughout anti time. Let's go ahead and restore the auric field. Let's repair it, bring it back into its proper functioning. Anything in the physical body, this could be bacteria, virus, this could be anything that is parasitic. Spiritually, energetically, let's go ahead and clear any associated imbalances uh, when it comes to these blockages or interferences. Let's go ahead and clear, remove all the way down to the seed and then restore it back to its harmonic state. This could be organs, this could be body systems, this could be your sensory system, your nervous system, digestive system, reproductive system. Skeletal muscular system. Go ahead and clear the remote program. Any inherited, imprinted identification that your physical body is uh, adhering to. Let's go ahead and clear, clear, remove, clear, remove, and reprogram. All right, anything else here for the Soul Star Chakra that we can work on now? Is there anything else on chart three that we need to work on at this time? No, okay. most impactful thing we can work on for the soul star soul star chakra clearing nothing is there anything we need to reprogram or bring in for the soul star chakra no anything we need to reprogram no all right this is a wrap guys i'm gonna put a beautiful white light of protection and a purple flame of protection around you and everything that you hold of value i want you to take some deep breaths just check in with your body 
And make sure you drink lots and lots of water, guys, with this clearing. Try not to eat anything heavy in the next couple of days. Try to eat light, which means you can eat chicken or fish, but try not to eat heavy animals like lamb, pork, or beef. Um, this will start to ground your energy, and right now you're working with a higher chakra, so you want to kind of keep in that higher elevation so that you can start to create this as your new norm. So let me know in the comments how you guys are holding up. Uh, this is our last chakra um, video, so I'm so thankful you guys joined me all the way until the end. If you guys are just coming in, you guys can watch this one and then go backwards if you'd like, however you want, however you're being guided uh, is totally up to you. But let me know in the comments how you guys are doing and I will see you guys on the next video. So take care.